The story revolves around a 17-year-old girl named Ashley who is hired to babysit Luke, a 12-year-old boy, on Christmas. While Luke's parents attend a party, Ashley is responsible for looking after him. Luke has developed feelings for Ashley over time as she frequently babysits him. Once Luke's parents leave, he suggests watching a movie together. Ashley explains that she needs to make a phone call first but promises to join him afterward. She calls her boyfriend, who insists on meeting her on Christmas night, but Ashley declines due to her babysitting duties. They proceed to watch a horror movie, during which Luke takes out a bottle of champagne to impress Ashley and show that he is mature. Ashley takes the bottle away, intending to leave it in the kitchen. While Ashley is in the kitchen, she receives another call from Ricky and engages in conversation while drinking. Luke retrieves the champagne bottle and they return to the room to continue watching the movie. During the film, Luke attempts to make a move on Ashley by attempting to kiss her. Ashley rejects his advances, reminding him that he is too young for such behavior. Suddenly, Ashley receives a call from an anonymous person who claims to be watching her. She looks out the window but sees no one. However, she notices a Santa Claus statue, which confuses and unsettles her. The backyard door mysteriously opens on its own, further raising her suspicions that someone has broken into the house. Ashley hurriedly shuts the door and asks Luke to give her the phone so she can call 911. However, as Luke tosses the phone, it falls into the aquarium. Suddenly, there is a knock at the door, terrifying Ashley and Luke. They cautiously approach the door but find nobody there. Shortly after, Luke's friend Garrett appears, reveling in his successful prank. Ashley questions him about the strange noises in the backyard, but Garrett denies being involved. Suddenly, they hear the sound of breaking glass coming from an upstairs room, confirming Ashley's belief that there is a genuine threat. She grabs a knife and heads upstairs. In the room, they discover that a window has been broken. Ashley attempts to call the police but finds no signal. They go to Luke's room and try to use the laptop to contact the police, but they still cannot establish a connection. Ashley decides they should go to the police station, but they encounter another setback, the tires of her car have been punctured. As Ashley begins to realize that they are trapped and in danger, fear grips her. She quickly locks the doors of the house. Suddenly, Garrett appears carrying a brick with the chilling message you leave you die carved on it. Terrified, Garrett runs out of the house, but a gunshot rings out, and he falls to the ground, having been shot. Ashley, terrified for her life, locks the main door once again. Luke informs her that there is a gun in his father's room. As they head upstairs to retrieve it, they discover that someone has already broken into the house, armed with a shotgun, and is searching each room. Seeking safety, they hide in the attic. Luke carefully enters his father's room and retrieves the gun. They then take refuge in a closet, but a toy in the closet accidentally makes a loud noise, alerting the intruder to their presence. The man begins searching for them. Ashley notices that the mask the intruder is wearing is the same as Luke's mask, raising her suspicions. She demands that the man remove the mask, revealing that he is, in fact, Luke's friend Garrett. Ashley realizes that Luke and Garrett plan the entire ordeal to impress her. Luke's intention was to create a scary situation, save her, and be the hero in her eyes. Ashley becomes furious at both of them, realizing the extent of Luke's obsession with her. Their plot is exposed, and Ashley is deeply angered by their actions. She confronts Luke, telling him he is mentally unstable and needs therapy. Ashley decides to call Luke's parents to inform them of the situation. Luke attempts to stop her and slaps her near the stairs, causing Ashley to lose consciousness. Luke and Garrett then use duct tape to restrain Ashley in a chair. When Ashley regains consciousness, she pleads with them to untie her, but they force her to play a dangerous game of truth or dare at gunpoint. Desperate to frighten the boys, Ashley claims that Luke's parents are about to arrive, threatening to reveal everything to them. Garrett becomes frightened and wants to leave, but Luke convinces him to stay. Luke then attempts to get Ashley drunk, but she knocks the bottle out of his hand, causing it to shatter. The doorbell rings, and Ashley cries out for help, but Luke duct tapes her mouth shut. He goes to answer the door, and it's Ashley's boyfriend, Ricky. Luke tries to prevent Ricky from entering the house, but Ricky insists on giving Ashley flowers and enters anyway. As Ricky goes upstairs to find Ashley, Luke swings a baseball bat at him but misses. Ricky confronts Luke, and Garrett points the shotgun at Ricky. Luke strikes Ricky on the head with the baseball bat, rendering him unconscious. Garrett grows increasingly nervous and urges Luke to end their dangerous actions, but Luke is enjoying the thrill of being a criminal. They tie Ricky to a chair next to Ashley, shocking her to see him restrained. Luke reveals that he was the one who texted Ricky to come to the house. 
Garrett becomes frustrated with Luke's behavior and questions his motives. Luke dismisses Garrett, instructing him to sit in a corner, and retrieves Ashley's phone from the aquarium. Luke calls Ashley's ex-boyfriend, Jeremy, and invites him to come over. Amid the tension, Ashley manages to free one of her hands using a piece of glass. Feeling the pressure, Garrett starts smoking weed, but Luke takes it away from him and coerces Ricky to smoke it. Luke then takes Ricky to the hall, attempting to recreate a scene from the movie Home Alone by swinging a paint can at him, but he misses. Garrett becomes increasingly unsettled and pleads with Luke to stop. Ashley breaks free, brandishing a gun and pointing it at Luke. Luke drops the paint can, which strikes Ricky in the head, resulting in his death. Ashley breaks down in tears, which seemingly brings satisfaction to Luke as if he has triumphed in some twisted way. Luke's obsession with proving he's not a child anymore has driven him to such extremes. Ashley threatens to shoot Luke, but when she tries, she discovers that the gun is unloaded. She flees from the house, with Luke urging Garrett to chase after her, warning him that they will go to jail if their actions are discovered. Garrett pursues Ashley but fails to catch her. Meanwhile, Luke catches up to Ashley and strikes her on the head with a brick, rendering her unconscious. They bring her back to the house, where they tie her up again. Garrett questions Luke about why he killed Ricky. In a cunning and manipulative manner, Luke pins the blame on Garrett, claiming that Garrett was the one who got high on weed and killed Ricky. Luke asserts that Garrett must now do as he says to protect himself. The horrifying story concludes with Luke's twisted plan spiraling into a series of murders. As Jeremy arrives at the house, Luke deceives him into writing an apology letter for Ashley. Luke then proceeds to hang Jeremy from a tree, resulting in his death. Meanwhile, Garrett, who has been growing increasingly remorseful, decides to untie Ashley and asks for her forgiveness. Luke witnesses this act of kindness and becomes enraged, shooting Garrett multiple times until he dies. In a shocking turn of events, Luke stabs Ashley in the neck with a knife, seemingly satisfied with his actions. Luke proceeds to clean up the house, arranging the scene to make it appear as though Jeremy and Ricky fought, leading to Ashley's demise. When Luke's parents return home, his mother discovers the gruesome scene and frantically searches for Luke. Finding him in his bed, she calls the police while Luke feigns innocence, pretending to be unaware of the events that unfolded. However, the police discover that Ashley is still alive, having survived the attack, thanks to a piece of duct tape covering her stab wound. Ashley defiantly gestures a middle finger to Luke as she is rushed to the hospital. Realizing that his plan has been foiled, Luke expresses concern for Ashley and requests to visit her at the hospital.